What is going on everyone and welcome back to the big show. My name is Terrence. Today we're going to be continuing the lightweight career of Desi the Merciless Martin. We've got Jim Miller in front of us, our first ranked opponent, which means if we win today, we very well could become a ranked UFC lightweight contender, which brings us ever so close to that UFC title. My cat underneath me is going crazy, so clearly this is an exciting day. As far as what I expect, I've seen a few other people run through the career mode and run into Jim Miller, and he seems like maybe the toughest test you're going to have in this game prior to getting to uh, the champion level opponents. I have no idea what to expect. I didn't really do any research or uh, what's the word game planning, I guess, to see what his main skill set he is. In real life, I know he's oh, and we get taken down. All right, I'm expecting a lot of takedowns and probably some submission attempts. Uh, looks like I've already got his nose busted up just working these jabs. Um, that's kind of the plan, just heavy volume against everyone I fight until that doesn't work. When that stops working, I'll mix up my game plan. Until then, so far, cardio has not really limited my ability. And maybe that's something that, that the devs need to update and tweak. But right now, I can kind of just spam my, <laughs> my straights, keep the pressure in their face. And we're going for a ride again. Terrific. Terrific. All right. So I'm happy the game does not just score takedowns heavy. Uh, if they can't keep me down and I can get back up or right here just reverse it um, Then there's not much they can do as far as scoring points and there's the submission. It's like I, I'm basically a psychic I'm calling these things as they happen <laughs> Maybe my next creative fighter should be titled like David Blaine or something All right, so getting out of this submission attempt. Um, I think we should get up my cardio is low And I don't want to play on the ground because I have not leveled up a lot of Desi skills there so we're not going to really be competitive there. Um, I want to stay on the feet, circle to his uh, weak side, and hopefully... Oh my god, I'm getting beat up in the clinch here. And he's going for another takedown. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos, you've seen that I have yet to stuff a takedown attempt. I think I finally figured out what it was um, and the issue I'm having. And I'm going to continue having this issue because of the way I play the game. So, I actually play the game with my Xbox uh, One plugged into my Elgato uh, PCI capture card in the back of my computer, and then I run Game Capture HD or whatever it's called, Elgato's streaming program, on my PC. That way I can use OBS, have my PC open, um, and still play the game. Now, I think there's probably like... I don't know, maybe a half a second of lag, probably less than that. That seems like a lot. Uh, but there is a minor amount of lag and response time uh, between how fast my Xbox is showing it and how fast it's showing up on my PC screen. Man, we are stuck in another submission attempt. He's just working us here. Maybe I should stop talking and pay attention to the game. All right. That's the end of round one. Round two, here we go. Um... What was I saying a second ago before uh, I had to cut for rounds? Um, Elgato, that's right. So there is a small delay there, and I think there's just a small window for uh, stuffing takedowns, and I just miss it because I do fine in the training sessions. I do fine when I'm when I'm using my sparring partner uh, stuffing takedowns, and I think the window is probably large. Oh, man, that was just a beautiful overhand straight to the dome. He's rocked. He's rock. If we don't win this round, I'm going to be shocked. Oh. Um, good body kick there. Oh, and he just ducks under the high kick. Yeah, so the response time, that's what I'm assuming is the reason why I can't stuff takedowns right now. But uh, I'm going to test that out real soon here um, and see if, if it works when I just play it straight through. Excuse me. Play it straight through my monitor in comparison to, to trying to play it the way I'm playing right now through uh, my PC screen. Oh, and I was hoping he would come in on that and I'd catch him again with that overhand. Um, I gotta, gotta loosen up on that. I'm probably throwing it a little heavy. That's a waste. Now, those do take a lot of stamina throwing those overhands like those. Um, he's blocking everything, man. I'll be honest. I thought he was tougher in the first round when he was going for all those takedowns, really mixing it up. Um, now he just kind of seems slow. Like he's just plotting in front of me. Um, and he bails on the takedown attempt there. I guess I was kind of backing up. Just oh, and I catch him again, man. He's just susceptible to that, that overhand. 
Oh, and also, if you're wondering why I throw punches at thin air sometimes, that's another reason. Because by the time I'm throwing that punch, they've already moved out a little bit. But if you throw a combination, the game has to play your whole combination. So sometimes fighters dash back after I hit them once or twice and it still shows me swinging. That's also because of the L guy. <laughs> so it also just makes me look like a terrible player, but that's fine. I can live with that. I can live with that. All right, so we're back on the back here. We're back on our ground, or back on the ground with him. Um, he is beating us up right now, and it looks like he's going for another uh, submission. What is this, a Kimura? Is that, is that right? Um, we're not gonna give it to him, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna get out of this fairly easily. Um, that's probably my favorite submission minigame. It's so easy to get out of those. I hate the other circle one. That one, I, I can't stand it. Um, they're both fine. I mean, it's basically like undisputed system of uh, submissions, but not my preference. Um, so now I'm just probably going to keep looking for that overhand. It seems like he's extremely susceptible to it. Um, and I think I'm going to have to... Jesus, we got rocked there. I'm going to have to avoid... Normally, you've seen me in the past when we get into the clinch situations, with the exception of Vic just because I thought his Muay Thai was going to be really good. And again with the overhand. Jesus Christ. That overhand is just dangerous. This might be it. This is where I put so many guys away. Oh, nope. He survives. He survives. Yeah. Um, I, I don't remember. Let's go into round three. All right. Round three. Round three is up. Let's, let's try to put him away. Let's make this look easier than any other YouTuber has thus far. Um, the straights are money right now. Oh my god, and I got rocked. That's probably from not watching my stamina, though. That's my fault. Um, and I'm hurt to the body. No worries. Uh, I actually updated the body um, for this, uh, this fight. I didn't expect him to go to it, but it was just one of those things where I hadn't really uh, added any points to it, so I decided to. So I'm not too worried about that. I think I'll be okay. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's it. That's it. That's it. I need a replay. That head kick was gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. Oh. All right, so we did get a new contract. Let's see how much it's for. 24 to show, 24 to win. And we are now on a four fight, fight contract, ranked number 15. Yes. All right, so next week we'll be taking on the lightweight veteran and former champion, Anthony Showtime Pettis. He's ranked 13. Let's keep moving up the ladder and get that title, boys. See you next time.